Hi everyone, it's Narelle here. Currently there's a problem in the Design Space 3 beta with the custom cutting settings in that they're actually being ignored. For example, um, the washi tape setting in the custom settings in Design Space 3, instead of cutting quite lightly, it's actually cutting very deeply and it's obviously ruining, ruining people's projects. So until that problem has been fixed, there is a way around it that I've found that's working for me anyway, so hopefully it will also work for you. And that's to create an identical custom cutting setting of your own. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're in Design Space 3 at the moment um, and I have got my Explore connected to my uh, computer and I have it powered on. So now I'm going to go to the top menu bar here on the left and I'm going to go down to Manage Custom Materials. It's then going to ask me which Cricut machine I'm going to be using and I'm going to select this uh, one here, my Air 2. So it's going to connect to that and once it's done that it's going to show me a list of all the, ma the materials that can be cut. So here they are here. Now the settings here at the top uh, are the ones that are actually on the dial. Now they don't appear to be um, affected by this problem so we're going to scroll past those and go on down here to the custom materials. So the one that I'm going to show you is this washi tape setting here. Now a lot of people use that for cutting their vinyl um, and what's actually happening is it's saying, it says here that the cut pressure is 149 but it's actually cut, cutting a lot um, higher than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new setting um, and we're going to use the same, same cut pressure but you'll find that that should actually cut better. So now I'm going to go down to the bottom of this screen here and I'm going to say add new material. I've got to give that material a name so I'm going to call that washi tape Norel and then I'll click save. Once that's done I'm going to scroll back up here and you'll see my new setting here and I have to set the cut pressure. So I know that the previous setting is 149 so I'm just going to grab this here and I'm going to change that to 149. I can use the plus and minus here which I'll do to get to 149. Now there was nothing else that I had to change here because the other settings were correct and I'm using the regular blade and multi-cut is off. So once I've done that I select save and then I'll scroll down to the bottom and if there are no others that you want to change you then can just click done. So the next thing to do is to test your new setting. So to do that I just added a shape to my canvas um, and then sent it off to cut. Now I did it twice so the first time that I did it I selected the default washi tape setting. So I select my device there then when the material setting comes up I go and change that to washi tape 0 0.06. Click down here, scroll to the bottom, select that one there. So I would select that, I would send that off to cut and then once I had done that I would then come back and I'd go back to my canvas and I would send it off to cut again. but I would make sure if I'm using the same um, piece of material I would just grab that star and I'd move it over so that it had somewhere new to cut. So I would do the same thing then I would go on and I would but this time I would select the washi tape Norel setting. So give it a try see if it works for you I really hope it does and I also hope that the problem itself is fixed soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.